So, since it was Memorial Weekend, there were some sales and I really just was curious about seeing if there were jean sales and buying a pair of white denim. These are from Seven for All Mankind, which is the brand that I started becoming more fond of because they seem very stretchy, comfortable, uh, they also fit very well and hopefully they are not going to be too tight where it's uncomfortable. That's generally what I'm going for now. These are the ankle skinnies. They're super skinny, which in the past meant like suffocating my legs, but hopefully these will feel okay. Lighting brighter. Okay, so I tried on my jeans and uh, you know, oftentimes it's really tempting to keep it just because you don't want to go through the hassle of returning it, but unfortunately I think this pair is a little bit too loose in certain areas for me to really love it. Um, I feel like for a lot of my other ones, around the ankles tends to be like pretty form-fitting. Maybe around the waist it's a little bit loose, but I can live with that if that's the only place that's potentially loose, but for this one, the uh, ankle area is a little bit loose, and then plus the area around my knees. I don't really like it too much when my knees, when the jeans bunch up a little bit around your knees. I like it when they kind of just like hug your legs. So for these, I think on sale they were like 140 or up to 160 with tax. So I'll return these and maybe see if there's anything else on sale that is worth buying, but of course, I will only be very stingy about what I buy, and honestly, if I don't see anything I like that's on sale, I'm not going to buy anything because I am still suffering. I will be suffering from my shopping spree to what, last month or two months ago for a long while because that 0% card needs to be paid off. So even though I will be browsing to see if there's anything I might like, um, doesn't mean I'm gonna buy anything and I think I have good enough self-control to not put myself in a bigger ditch so I'm just gonna look out of curiosity once in a while there might be something I love that will be worth buying but I think most of the times when I browse I don't see anything I like anyways uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh I have a little bit of something so it is Wednesday night and it's about 10:40 right now. I am in the middle of watching Lara Croft Tomb Raider, whatever the heck the name is for the new one. Um, I don't know how far in I am. I hope at least halfway. I think it's a relatively short movie. So far though, I'm kind of bored. I'm not interested in the Lara Croft character much. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything great out of this one either. Milo. Bite the strap, I'll fuck you up. Ah yes, so the final Dota 2 Major starts on Saturday in China. I think because of that time zone difference, it should start Friday night, maybe midnight or something. So this is a little challenging because this is the final Major and then there's a gap before TI, which I'm attending in person in August 19th, I think. It's not even June yet. I mean, it's June next week, but June, July, August, that's like 2.5 months of no Dota to watch at all. I feel like I'm gonna be so, that's gonna be rough. Like, what am I gonna do? When it goes until next week, throughout the week, I feel like I'm gonna be super eager to try to watch as much of the event as possible before there's none for two and a half months, but it's China time which probably means I'll start at like 9 p.m. and go until the morning, which means that work is gonna suck ass for me. So I'm gonna have to really figure something out. Like maybe I'll go to work later so I could try to sleep a little bit um, for the event. I don't know if my manager would be cool with me like pushing back my work day late for the whole five days. Although actually my coworker is going to be out, the one that trains me, for four days because he's going to some training thing in Irvine. So he won't be in the office. So maybe me pushing back my work hour won't matter as much since he won't even be around for me to coordinate with. 
Path of Exile League starts on Friday. Apparently it's 7 o'clock p.m. So it's roughly right around the time I come home, which is very convenient. So if I'm not playing Dota, I'll be playing that. I really want to ride along the coast or something. Or maybe like, I was thinking of asking Shane to show me around roads that he is more familiar with because he has been living here way longer than I have and he gets out way more than I do. So I was thinking like maybe he can just drive me around, but I mean it more like he'll drive in his SUV and I'll ride in my motorcycle and I'll just follow him and maybe that'll be kind of fun because I, uh, I just think it would be cool to ride along the coast, but I don't really know which place is the best area to start or like I know at least when I went to the dog beach in Del Mar that that strip of road or whatever you want to call it along that beach was actually pretty decent so I wouldn't mind seeing if there's a road or uh, plan some sort of trip to see some of that and maybe try to record some of it. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> I guess it's time to finish this movie. You know what? Maybe I'll finish this movie not giving it my full attention because I don't think it deserves it. So maybe I'll like browse around or something. I actually managed to have fun with that. Like lately I feel like if I don't have Dota to play, which I'm not going to as much anymore because not talking to that guy anymore and he was um, he was someone he was someone that was very easily dependable to play with because it was just easy he was available he was always down to play and I liked that about him so now that he's not there anymore my options for who to play with are low again and that means that I won't be playing as much anymore which sucks but you know what that was life before he came along, so I think that's okay. It probably isn't really necessary for me to mention this, even though I I think I'm pretty sure I've brought it up in the past a little bit when I'm talking about shopping, but if you can, definitely avoid opening a 0% interest rate card because it is definitely going to be very dangerous because you end up buying things with the mentality that you can afford them when you can't. And I am definitely suffering those consequences. Um, I have a card that the promotion is due in September and I'm a little concerned about being able to pay it off. So because of that, I am going to cancel personal training after next month because I already paid for this upcoming month, but I did tell my trainer already that I can't continue it and honestly personal training has always been something where I'm not entirely thrilled to be spending the money on because if I had better willpower, better motivation, better determination, I could do all of the work myself without having to pay $240 a month and I think that is still just um, something I need to be better at. I need to be better at designating a time when I get home, doing my workout, doing it um, with the proper number of reps where it's not too easy, where I actually am fatigued, get my heart rate up, and all of that stuff. So it's definitely necessary. $240 is a lot of fucking money. And I guess the main thing that I was always a little concerned about myself was just like I don't like looking like a quitter because that's basically what it looks like last year when I did boxing with him for a month um, I told him I didn't want to continue after because it's just like money I felt like I couldn't afford spending on something like that so I'm telling him that I can't continue paying again and it feels crappy but I'm pretty sure he is smart enough to understand that $240 is a lot of money and if I need that money for something else personal training is definitely one of the first few things I will sacrifice because even though it is for health I can do all of the work myself hello Thursday home from work and today has generally been a pretty good day 
I definitely have to say that today I did not do much work because I was talking to my coworker way too much. So days like this feel kind of weird where I kind of feel like I'm being a bad employee or something. But anyways, let's see. So uh, earlier I, I talked about trying to up my game for fitness so I can have my six pack, preferably while I'm at TI, that would be nice because I like wearing crop tops and there are some I some that I have that I would honestly not feel good about wearing unless I had like a super, super nice ab section. So that's why I do think I will try my best to be consistent and do like workouts, push myself at least five days of the week. I'm gonna try to stick to five so, um, I'll figure out which days I want to do those. Honestly, though, I feel like if I'm like mentally capable of wanting to do a workout that day, it doesn't matter if it's past five days, seven days a week is fine. As long as I have the willpower to do it, I think I will make sure that I get it done. So, <laughs> today is day one. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I talked about this months ago where I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this and I don't stick it through, which is disappointing, I do admit, so we're gonna see how long I am able to uphold this. Honestly, I really do hope that I have the willpower to do it because it's something I've always wanted and I just have never been able to obtain it. So, the good thing about today is I decided to eat some salad at work right before I left as my dinner. That way it would be mostly digested, I would hope, by the time I got home now so I can just do a workout right away and knock it out before I kind of settle down and do lazy stuff where I would probably not end up doing a workout later in the evening. I mean, I'm sure I could, but it's nice to just get home and do it first thing. That way I have that motivation right away and um, good to get it done. I have to say, after I did the setup the other day, I actually really like it, so I think I'll probably use it more so people can actually <laughs> see a different background than my kitchen all the time, right? I know that gets a little boring, but you know what? It's so much easier to record when I'm not holding it up, when I can just sit here, relax, and talk. So, Thursday, right before I'm probably going to bed soon, although I'm not sure, I'm not, not entirely feeling like sleeping just yet. Um, I just finished watching Stuck in Love, which is a movie I have seen before several times, and it is a movie that is definitely up there for my romance movies. I really enjoyed it. It was very sweet, and it was kind of nice to see a bit of romance. Um, I'm definitely a sucker for it in a sense because it's nice seeing people enjoy each other's company, and it's just makes me tingly inside. I sound a little weird because there were some emotional moments in the movie that kind of made me cry, touched me. So excuse the presentation and the way I sound. Tonight was, you know, I had to find stuff to fill my time because I kind of don't really have that much that I was particularly excited for tonight. Um, my workout went well. I actually felt pretty exhausted by the end of it and I basically just did a fair amount of jump roping at the start and then I did three sets of two moves and three combinations of that, if that makes any sense. Basically six moves total, but three sets of each. So I actually feel like it took definitely more than 30 minutes because it felt like an eternity when I was doing it and I didn't actually look at the clock or anything but I knocked it out that felt good um, I usually feel like I'm the type of person that is difficult to start sweating and I was sweating but I don't know if that's just because my house is probably you know hotter than the average person way hotter than the average person uh, comfortable indoor temperature for me is 77. I know that sounds ridiculously high, but I have mentioned in the past that I just don't like, I don't like 
wearing pants indoors, um, I feel so much more relaxed and free without it. So usually if I want to just like lounge around, I do need the indoor temp to be warmer so I'm not cold with like minimal clothing on. So I did have the AC on, but I did sweat for my workout. I feel like I did a pretty good job today and I'm just really hoping to keep up that mentality. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, tomorrow the major starts. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. I hope that I will have the stamina to watch a lot of this major throughout next week and over the weekend and everything. Um, it should be pretty good. And uh, I have to say that I was probably uh, slightly disappointed that the Path of Exile League didn't start tonight because I felt like I had so much time tonight that I would have been really excited to level because it starts tomorrow, but the thing is, the Major will be starting tomorrow pretty much at the same time that the League goes live, so I won't be able to play until in between matches. Um, depending on the tournament, I don't know if there will be long breaks between the games, but VP and Newbie are playing at the same time, best of threes. They are the first match of the day. I have an early meeting tomorrow. Sometimes my Fridays are just rough because <laughs> My manager schedules like a team meeting every other Friday at 9 a.m., which doesn't sound ridiculous, right? But I normally get into the office around 10 a.m., so having to get in at 9 a.m., I usually feel like I need to leave the house by 8, which means I have to be up at 7, and I usually wake up at 8.30, so it's a big difference, especially on a Friday, having to wake up early. What a shame. Morning, Saturday. And unfortunately, I scheduled a personal training session for today morning because my trainer is going on a trip uh, for 1.5 weeks, I think, to see his daughter. And that means I'm not gonna get a workout in. So I was like, what the hell? How do I schedule this whole gap? So I decided to do two days this week and I forget the rest of my schedule, but I just don't like planning anything Saturday morning because I like to just sleep in and just like do my mornings very slowly um, So even though I actually kind of naturally woke up my alarm didn't wake me up. I slept at like 2 uh, because while Dota was on yes, I was watching that and Kind of just like towards the end of the night. I was like really really tired and not paying attention anymore VP like one other series, which is excellent. They're in the upper bracket Newbie actually lost 2-0 to Team Liquid, but they won their next series, so they are also in the upper bracket, so both of my teams are doing well, and I'm really happy about that. There are more games tonight, I think starting at 7 o'clock again, but yeah, freaking tough-ass workout first thing in the morning, but it is a gorgeous day out, so I am still thinking about how I plan to spend it outdoors. Good afternoon. I just showered after my workout and my plan for today is probably just um, I'm going to walk Riley shortly, let my hair dry off from the sun, and then I will probably go for a nice little joy ride since I haven't done that in a little bit and today seems like prime weather for that. Um, and then after that really more Dota Major tonight at 7 p.m. and I'll be playing Path of Exile for most of the day. Um, tomorrow I probably plan, well not probably, tomorrow I plan to have lunch with Shane at this Chinese hot pot restaurant and then I figured like we could go shopping. Um, <laughs> of course, for a trip like that, my main goal really was just like, I think he expressed interest in wanting to buy more pieces and he, um, he kind of likes asking me for advice for stuff. I'm not like a fashion guru by any means, but I think he uh, appreciates my advice so I don't mind helping out and maybe I will browse around to see if there's anything I absolutely love. Like I said in the other video, 
not buying anything that isn't reasonably priced, probably on sale, and something that I freaking love, like, over the moon in love. So, still anticipating not buying anything tomorrow, but I just feel like I want to go out because these next two days are going to be beautiful, and I like spending a decent amount of my afternoon enjoying it if it's going to be nice like that. So, okay, man, I, I don't like it when I have to let my hair air dry, but my hair has been definitely feeling more unhealthy because it's been two and a half months since my last haircut because my goal is to grow my hair out. But lately I've been noticing that even if I blow dry my hair out straight, there are certain end pieces that just feel really shitty. They feel really dry. They don't feel good when I like run my hand through my hair. Like I can feel the pubic texture on my hair. So I do think maybe I am due for a trim lately, but if I use that product that I have that kind of helps to repair and restore your hair, I'm gonna probably use that again this weekend and just see if that will help get rid of that feeling and if it doesn't then I will have to get a little trim because you know what I don't think it's super important for me to have long hair in a short amount of time it's just my goal um, and I feel like it has grown out quite a bit because I haven't been cutting it but I don't want long hair if it feels like pubes so trim is probably in my near future hey today is freshly delivery day and I stacked up the ones that I got. I'm still getting six every week. Steak peppercorn is the only meat dish that I like and I actually really like it because it comes with, uh, here, let me show, in case people are ever curious about trying out this service. So you can see the steak in there. It's usually surrounded by mashed potatoes. And then there are string beans and carrots actually tastes quite good. Um, usually I feel like, I don't know, American cooked string beans tend to be so bland to me, but these are pretty good. Then I have baked pen sausage. I have only one of it this week because I actually really like the pen bolognese. It actually feels really nice for me to get my workout done first thing in the morning. Well, it's nice in the sense that you know that you did your task for the day, but it's it can be weird at times because by the time nighttime rolls around, you're like, shit, it's been like 12 hours since I exercised. It feels like a really long time ago, right? So in that sense, you kind of feel like you're lazy or just doing whatever all day. And it's only, it's only 4.11. And I've been playing some Path. I am almost level 50. Honestly, not I'm not being super fast or anything because I'm just taking my time. I'm enjoying the game. Uh, I do feel my hand being a little iffy. My hand has been kind of crappy lately. But I will probably play a little bit more. Then I will walk her one more time before the sun goes down. And then there's Dota at 7 o'clock. So that is my Saturday.